promise to you. I don't know about the other gods, but God is not afraid to make promises knowing that I can keep it. Sometimes we make promises and we go, uh, I hope I can keep it. But God is confident and God is omniscient. God is all-knowing and God is omnipresent and omni omnipotent enough to say, I know that when I say what I say, it will come to pass. Sometimes, even in spite of your frailties. In fact, most times in spite of our frailties. Do you understand that God wants to accomplish something in your life even though you may have messed up even in the process? This is what I love about God. Because you see it in the Davidic covenant. You see it in the Abrahamic covenant. You see it in the Noah covenant. These guys, <laughs> God makes covenant with them in spite of the blunders that they were going to make in the future. And God knew the blunders that they were going to make in the future. In spite of the stuff that they were going to do. I mean, come on. Noah builds a boat and after that he gets drunk. Nobody is dumb. And God says, I, I, I got you, man. Abraham. Oh, man, do we need to talk about Abraham? I mean, come on, you know, Ishmael. And even worse, David. Man after God's own heart. Adulterer, murderer. And God says, yeah, yeah, I know all of that. But you'll never, David, I make this promise to you. You read Psalms 89. It's almost as if he made the promise to the moon and the stars, as if it was a natural law. He says, I make this promise to you that you will never cease to have a king on the throne that comes out of your lineage. And what happens? Through the lineage of David, Jesus comes. And the king is forever on the throne. And so the point of the matter is that sometimes we don't even realize how big covenant is and how big God is to enough to say that he will cut covenant you and make a promise with you knowing you're going to mess up in the future. Right. Knowing that you and I are frail. God, everybody say this with me, God is a covenant making God. That means he partners with us. He is, he is in partnership with us. It's, he's not like us. He is God Almighty, who's loving and compassionate. Number two, God is a covenant-keeping God. Psalms 111, verse 5, and also verse 9. Write that down. I think you'll be blessed by that verse. It says, in essence, that he, referring to God, always remembers his covenant. He always remembers his covenant. So God is not wishy-washy. He's not going to become neglectful. He's not going to go, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. What did I promise to do for you? You know, my, my son came to me. He said, Dad, you, you, promised, you promised to take me golfing. And I said, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's, like, it's like how we are. You know, we forget things. But God is not sitting there going like some great old grandfather with a white beard going, oh, what, what did I promise to do to these people again? No, no, no. God is not forgetful. He remembers his covenant. So God is a covenant-keeping God. The other thing we know about God as it relates to covenant is God is a covenant-revealing God. Do you realize that God wants to reveal some things about you and on your behalf? He wants to release some promises on you that you may not even realize that you have? That's why it's important to be in the Word. That's why it's important to study the Word of God. Because what we see out of the Word of God is that God is trying to reveal something to us. So when I'm sick, what do I turn to? I turn to covenant. When things are going in turmoil in my life, what do I turn to? I turn to covenant. God, reveal your covenant on this issue. What are you saying to me? Anybody perplexed? Anybody confused? Anybody don't understand what's going on in their life? He says there are some covenants that will cover that. He, he wants to reveal his covenant to you. He wants to be revealed. This is why sometimes we go after our own methods and ways of trying to get things accomplished in our lives. Instead of saying, Lord, what is your word saying about this? This is a covenant book. This is a book of promises. <laughs>